EA Sports, and the RNA are proud to present opening round coverage of the Open Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports at the Open Championship, and we are at the home of golf, the old course at St. Andrews. And Frank, you know the old course is old when the new course here in St. Andrews is a century old. But the old course is, is just a treat to play or even play an open championship on that. The holes have changed in the way in which they've played over the years. For example, some of the short par fours are very drivable by today's great players. But the pot bunkers, um, how penal they are should you stray offline, they have to be avoided. And of course, there's all the little landmarks, whether it be the old course hotel or even the famous Swilkin Bridge as you traverse the 18th hole. There's something at St Andrews for everybody. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. He has this for birdie. And with that birdie, moves into second place. Here we are now at the second. Always so important to try and establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. In the second hole, especially with a prevailing breeze and today's modern equipment, the odd player has actually driven this green, but um, you really see, see the tone of the golf course. The middle of the golf course is protected. There's a, there's a series of bunkers down there, but um, the left is always the safe side of the golf course, but it's the best line to play your second shot from on the whole golf course is always the right side, and we see that here at the second. Just a pure strike, a perfect result. I'll have a good look at Birdie now. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Came to the putt, excited to make Birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. We've let one go. Gonna really Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. On the tee box here at the third now, Frank, all these holes look relatively straightforward. Can a golfer get lured in a kind of a false sense of security off the tee here at the old course? No, well, you can. This hole, uh, the third hole, even shorter than the second, so reachable. But um, a lot of people tend to bail out towards the left. That's the middle of the golf course. And that leaves you a devilish little pitch or short wedge across that big gaping bunker that protects both the uh, third and the 15th green. So once again, want to drive the ball down the right side, but there's a series of pot bunkers there. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action at hole number four. A couple of birdies already on the card. Still early, Frank, but we've seen some solid play. This is exactly how you want to start the first round of a tournament, Rich. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. What makes the old course at St. Andrews so memorable is not just the round of golf, but it's the setting. It's the old town. It's people watching from the windows nearby. All of that makes it really a good experience. 
Seems to like it. Handed for the fat part of the green. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Really? This is an awkward length. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. So a tester from four feet. So hanging in down the stretch with a par. Hole number five of the first par five we've seen today. This fairway looks like it narrows quite a bit, Frank. Are you thinking eagle when you step up onto the tee? Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze behind you. But um, it's quite wide in the driving area, with the exception of those three bunkers on the right that just sort of pop out. But um, if you can get it past those, this, uh, this par five, very reachable. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. On the green with about 30 feet to go. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. On the way. And that is a phenomenal roll, Frank. From downtown. 